Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Acoust or Acoustic Thermal Developer Fan Mod 12. And it does have blue blades. You're not getting confused by the packaging. I couldn't find this on their website. I could only find it on eBay. Now, I'm not sure exactly why. I got this actually off of um, Performance PCs. The one that uh, Jay's Two Cents likes to promote. The bag isn't very strong. <laughs> I've, this is the third time I've opened it, and it ripped like that on the second time. It doesn't come with anything. This is what you see is what you get. So um, it's a three-pin connector. And that's all there is to that. So let's move right to the sounds of silence, or not. Could be very noisy. And indeed, for the start, it is very, very quiet. It also has a faintly electronic smell. Well, I wouldn't say faintly. It's kind of strong, but not very strong. And I probably, oops, I probably should have turned this the right way. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. So I'll go back down. Really quite quiet so far, right? I don't know. It's weird. I can't even. I don't even feel the uh, airflow. Now I'm confused. Which way is the airflow going? All right, it is going this way. I had it right the first time. All right, it's just so quiet, which is good. There's a harmonic resonance. Another one. Man, I felt like I was turning that knob forever. Okay, so as far as the pressure this is producing, um, it's really only significant right here. I mean, I can feel it down here. It is coning out, um, but it's only really strong there. So I would say that's somewhere in the area of one millimeter of water. So really, this is only good as a case fan. Or you could use it on an air cooler that isn't really thick or anything like that. Smaller air coolers with uh, more spacing between the fins would probably be a safe bet. Let's look at the specs. The Acoust Acoustic Thermal Developer Fan Mod 12. Uh, and... Oops. Nothing special about it. I paid three and a half dollars for this. Unfortunately, when I saw it on eBay, you can add another ten dollars to that number plus shipping. So, if you can get it for three and a half dollars, definitely worth the money. Um, if you need something quiet and you don't really need uh, much static pressure, otherwise, it's not even worth it for three and a half dollars. 
Um, certification CE are, whoops, are OHS and two Asian certifications. I don't know how to read the, the language, <laughs> so I can't tell you more about that. Made in Taiwan, 120 by 25 uh, millimeters, two year warranty, uh, 110 grams of weight, seven blades, 105 millimeters between the mounting holes. Uh, 1200 RPMs is the maximum. Don't know what the airflow is because for some stupid reason, they did not list it on the packaging, even though they they claim they claim that the static pressure is two point three. Uh uh, not even close. Um, but they didn't list it, list the the airflow, so I don't know what they were thinking. Even on the uh, well on the eBay listing, it was even uh, less informative, and the Acoustic website didn't have this product anymore listed that I could find anyways. I didn't bother to do a deep search using a browser delving into the site for me. Um, 24.5 centimeter cable. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, not for the cable. <laughs> 24.5 de decibels, 29 centimeter cable, no daisy chaining or sleeving, three pin DC connector, uh, sleeve bearing, so it's crap uh, as far as that's concerned, 12 volts, don't know about the um, watts and amps because, again, they decided it wasn't important to give that information, I guess, which is really irritating. And no indicators of a direction of rotation and flow, but it does turn in a clockwise direction and it comes with, well, should come with four screws. I accidentally put in that it came with screws, but I, I might, either I lost the screws or didn't come with screws. I'm not really sure which, but yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Also, thank you to uh, Lawrence Abrams at bleepingcomputer.com for allowing me to use his forum to promote my videos, and thus I promote his website, uh, which is a great website with lots of resources for tech people and for people who have computers, be it if you need help with hardware or software or even with malware. They have lots of resources. They have also got lots of news on their website about the tech world. If you would be interested in me presenting some of that news here on this channel, would you please let me know? Um, I already have permission from Lawrence Abrams to do that. I'm just not sure if that would be something of interest to people, so I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, so... Please like, subscribe, share. Let people know about my channel if you think it's worth it. If you don't think it's worth it and you want to give me feedback, please do so constructively in a video or in the community tab. Um, if you can't be constructive and civil and logical about it, then you probably should just be quiet because I have a low tolerance for people who like to troll, which is to say if you're going to be a jerk, I will not put up with it. So thank you very much again. I hope you have a wonderful day.